Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to sh show you how to secure guest access to Microsoft Teams with MFA. So if you want to add guests to your Microsoft Teams um, and you want to enable MFA, I'm, gonna sh I'm just going to show you this process. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to add a guest to Microsoft Teams. The second action is create secure group for, for guests and then the third one is create conditional access policy for guests with MFA so now let's get started let's add guests to Microsoft Teams so I have Microsoft Teams here and I have external site that I want to share with guests so what I'm going to do I'm going to add I'm going to add a guest, click on add more people. Enter a guest email address. Add as guest, click close. So I have added a guest. The next thing we're going to do is what's the second one? Create secure group for guests. So now let's do that. Let's log into Azure. Office 365, admin. Go to Admin Center and then go to Azure Active Directory. Go to Azure Active Directory. Go to Groups. I'm going to create a new group. It's going to be Security. The group name. I'm going to call it external guests. Description, I don't need anything for description. Membership type, dynamic users. Dynamic users membership. I'm going to create a simple rules. Under add users where you want to click on, let me see here, you want to click on user type. User type. Do you want to make it equals? Select equals and then type in guest. G U S T. Click on add query. And then click on create. Let's search for the group that I just created, external. Oops. Exter external guess right here. As you can see, I don't have any members yet because um, I added the security I added the um, 
the external guest user to Teams, but that user have not logged in. I'm going to log in with that account. Let's go to Yahoo. Dot mail dot com. Actually, I'm going to log in here. As you can see, I receive an email here. I, I guess I'm going to use this computer to log in. Mail. It's mail.yahoo.com. All right, here's the email. I'm going to click open Microsoft Teams. I'm going to click accept. I'm going to use the web. Open Microsoft Teams. Well, I have to use this different accounts. Um, I'm going to use incognito window or incognito login. Actually, I'm going to use Edge or IE. Let's go back here. Let's go to the Yahoo email address and open an edge.
Oh man, having problem with IE here. Um, anyway, so let's go back to. I think it's gonna work. The Microsoft team just having issues here with the browser. And if I go back to, do you get the idea? Um, if I go back to um, this group that I just created. Let's see where is it? External users. As you can see, there's none. Let's refresh it. It should add that um, guest accounts. So guest account has been added. All right, so the next thing you need to do is create create a conditional access. Let's go create a conditional access. Go back to Azure here. Should be a conditional access. <clears throat> go to new policy. <clears throat> Let's call this teams for ex for guest users users and groups you want to make sure you select the um, the group that you created Call external guess select it, click done. Cloud apps under cloud apps, you want to make sure you select Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams selected, click done. Conditions. nothing here click on grant you want to make sure you have grant access require multi-factor authentications you want to make sure you select require one of the selected item click select and then click enable click create And now when a guest user log in, it's going to prompt them for um, multi-factor authentication. So that's it. There's three steps. Add guest users to Microsoft Teams, create security groups for, for guests, and then create conditional access policy. And if you have a question, feel free to add your comment in the, add your questions to the comment sections. Thank you for watching and have a good day.